All right, Tony, tell me about the combine. What's it been like for you being down in Indianapolis, and what has what this experience been like? Um, it's been a blessing. I mean, we had a lot of meetings, a lot of great players down here, a lot of coaches, GMs, and things like that. It's been a grind so far. I mean, we've been, you know, getting up early, staying up late, but it's a blessing. It's a blessing to be here, and I'm just trying to take advantage of it. Talk about life since the Cotton Bowl. I know you, after the Cotton Bowl, you kind of started training, you know, participated in the game and everything like that. So just talk about the whirlwind of uh, the last couple months for you. Yeah, I mean, right at the Cotton Bowl, I had to get right back at it and get my body back into it. I've never done that, you know, for the last five or six years, but it's a blessing. Like I said, it's a blessing. It's fun getting back into it with um, some of the great players around where I'm training at. And um, it's just been grinding, working on all the stuff we're doing here, working on the media and things like that. And we're just trying to, you know, sell ourselves to get better. What's it like meeting with the teams? And then I know you got the drills coming up. So kind of talk about the different parts, because one of it is all skill and all on the field. And the other part is kind of selling yourself, like you're saying. So what's it like meeting with the, these teams while getting ready to do those drills and run the 40 and everything? It's basically giving you a chance to, to understand how what coaches want to see, how they're acting, and things like that. And it's getting, it's giving a chance for you to meet them as well as them to meet you. And um, it just opens a lot of bridges as far as communicating with them, seeing what they're looking for, seeing how they communicate with you and things like that. And it's always good to just understand what they're looking for, understand what they want, so you can just put your best foot forward. What's the mentality you'll take into the drills? I, you know, I don't know if you kind of know what you want to run or, and bench and all that stuff, but what's the mentality you have to take into that day? My mentality is just give it all I got. Go all out. I mean, you got one rep every how many receivers it is. That one rep, go all out. I mean, focus, have fun with it, but go all out. Understand that this is a business trip, and, you know, make the best of it. Now shifting gears back to the Spartans, obviously. Some guys got some shoes to fill replacing yourself and uh, Keith Mumford on the offensive side of the ball and then also replacing you on the defensive side of the ball. So who are some young guys that we can look forward to next year that, that can bring something to the table and really help the Spartans continue the tradition? Um, as far as wide receivers, they ain't really young, but my man is Bird, Kings, RJ, Troop, we got Sims. We got, we, got, we, got some, we got some ballers over there. You got Sue. We got some ballers, so it's just the point of everybody putting everything together and just making things happen. The, um, defense, it's going to be a growing, it's going to be a growing up period. I mean, with the DBs, people have to, you know, man up, have fun out there, and just understand that it's their time. It's their time to be great. And um, once they put it in their head, then they do what they have to do out there. What do you think they can do next year? Obviously, Shalit came back, Connor came back. They got talent there and got a good coaching staff. So, what do you think they can do next year? I feel like they need to take it one step at a time. You know, win one game at a time win a Big Ten championship, and just strive for excellence and you know, go win a national championship. I mean, you got the tools, you got the pieces in place, so just put them all together and make it happen. I feel like it's it's the year for that. I, you know, I want to be there when they when they win it, so that's definitely what I feel they should do. And then have you had time to reflect since since the Cotton Bowl on your time at Michigan State? Huge touchdown in the Rose Bowl, big touchdown in the Big Ten championship game, winning a Cotton Bowl and being the winningest senior class. Have you reflected on that? And what, what, do, you, what do you take from your time at Michigan State? Um, I reflected on it a little bit, not crazy much, but I take my time. I mean, you give in what you put out. So hard work, you put in hard work, anything like that, it's going to pay off. Like Coach D said, I mean, seniors lead, seniors make, making things happen, and, and once you leave, the other guys got to step up. And if other guys learn from you, then they're gonna be, it's going to be easy for them to fulfill that role. So that's basically what I learned, you know, teach the young, pass down knowledge, and then make plays while you're there. You know? What would you say some of your, your best experiences or best moments in Michigan State were? My best experience was um, just just creating the bonds that I did with certain players I did, you know. Best moments, man, it had to be the that was one of the best games I ever played in. It's cotton ball. I mean that was that was a crazy game and um, I'm just so happy I was blessed enough to even be a part of it, you know. So that was one of the best moments I've had. Then you talk about your brothers, what's it like sharing this combine experience with your brothers with Lang, Mumfrey? Juan, Trey, and Kurt all down here. What's it like being down here with them and sharing this experience? Oh, it's good, man. We all down here from um, grinding wherever we was at, all get back together just, you know, just to have fun and showcase Spartan Nation. I mean, showcase the Spartans that we here. We're not going nowhere. We're going to come out here, you know, try to make things happen, make plays out here, and do what we have to do on this field and just grind. And um, that's one thing we're trying to showcase that the Spartans do.